Hi everyone, welcome back to Toe of the Week. Stay tuned to see what I chose to match this set of nails. Welcome everyone, great to see you, great to be back in doing another video. This is my toe of the week and my Easter toes. Check these out. Aren't those so bright and beautiful? I love this set. So perfect for Easter, so perfect for spring. Being done in neons, but pastel neons. You can't beat that for a spring look. I love this tropical look. Of course, it doesn't do justice on here. You got to see the photos, but yeah, it's so beautiful. And I can't wait for you to see the Easter outfit. I'm sorry that you guys got everything late, but it's what I was wearing for Easter, so of course it had to come late to you guys. I hope all of you guys had a wonderful Easter, though. I know we had to stay in, you know, because of this pandemic and virus going around that we had to stay in, but I hope all of you guys were still happy, safe, and healthy. And I'm going to read a quick Bible verse to you guys. I've been talking all the time about the armor of God, putting on the armor of God every day, and I do this daily, and it's important to do this, so I want to read this one to you. It's Philippians uh, 6, 10. It's called the armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggles is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And this is evil we're going through. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, such as now, Okay, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with the feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. That's important, you guys. Do this every day. It is, again, Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Okay, yeah, 10 through 18. It is so important to put this armor on daily. Be with God daily. Put this on so that the devil cannot attack you when you have the armor of God on you. Read the good word of God. Start your day, go through your day, and end your day with God. Go to your prayer closet, pray to him, take time for him. Read the verses in the Bible, read the Bible, it's important. Give everything to God and pray, 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 and you're going to get through this. And you'll learn when you read this Bible how it says 365 times to fear not, for God is with you, he will never leave you nor forsake you, and he won't. He won't, you guys, he'll always be with you no matter what you're going through, no matter what Time, like what we're going through right now, no matter what, he is there every step of the way. And he is begging for our people to come back. So please, please give yourself over to God. Or if you are a Christian, give yourself back to God. You know, we are all sinful people. We fall short of the glory of God daily. Let's give ourselves back to him, okay? And also on um, uh, East or not Easter, on Friday when you get my outfit. No, actually, you would have already got it, I believe. Yeah, Easter, you already got it. My brother did that song. Wasn't that beautiful? I just loved it. I had asked if he would do it. It's um, the version, I think, off of Shrek, uh, but it's the Easter version, and it's the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus. And my brother did a wonderful job singing, and I hope you got a chance to hear that. If you didn't, definitely check that out. It was in my Sunday's video. Um, I did load a video that night, my uh, Healthy Keto Eating Show, but that morning I did load for Easter, my brother singing. So I hope you got to hear that. That's my youngest brother, Tommy, and he does have a channel. It's linked down below. It's uh, TD Healthy 2015, but I think he changed his channel name. I'm not sure, so I'm going to have to find that out, and if I if he did, I'm going to have to link it differently. Um, but it's Tommy. I'll just put Tommy in there, and you'll know. 
So, but anyways, let's get on to um, the shoe collection. I'm gonna do three sets again. The third set will be what I'm wearing for this week's Fashion Friday, so definitely check that out. And of course, I always just end with my outtake, and then you see the shoe collection, and then you'll see the photos of the toes. I hope all of you guys are staying well, happy, healthy, and fearing not. I love you all very much. Everybody take care, God bless, and I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. And if you are new to my channel, right there is the red subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel. Channel, please hit the notification bell so you're notified of all of my uploads. Uh, share around my channel so I can help many people get healthy with this keto. You guys, I want to help them get healthy during this pandemic. We need to be healthy, our you know, best health we can be in. And also shoot me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this toe design and part of my shoe collection as well. I love you guys. Take care and God bless. Now let's get started on this toe design. Hey everyone! So here's what I chose to go with for this week's toe design. My beautiful Easter toes matching the nails that I did on Monday. A gorgeous tropical look done with neons but in a pastel way. If you guys would like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week. Excited to be back sharing another toe design with you, another spring look. And this set will be my Easter set of toes. Even though you're going to get it late, I'm going to be wearing it for Easter. It's matching with those beautiful nails that I did on Monday, those tropical nails done with the neon um, pastels and all the beautiful greenery and flowers and stones and glitter and all that. We're going to be doing it on the toes. Now the toes I always do a little bit different. Uh, but they always match just because they're toes. All right, so for starters, I went with this here. This is a uh, paint that I made. I bought this at Dollar Tree. It's just a clear. And then I added in 20 drops of a baby pink I got from there, also done in the clear um, kiss gel. It wasn't clear, I'm sorry, a pink kiss gel. It was a baby pink. I added 30 drops in here and shook it up, and I made it for when you do uh, French looks like this. And then the orange one I'm using is by Fresh Paints, and that's from uh, Five Below. And there is the name there. I do not know how to pronounce this. I remember my friend Jan told me, but I forgot. But there it is right there. A beautiful neon orange. It's gorgeous. It's super bright. And then I'll be working with acrylic paints. And they're all by the Apple Barrel. And I'll show you. I'm using all these uh, like kind of neon colors. We've got a neon green. And then we've got the apricot. But I added in some orange with the two because I'm, you know, going uh, darker with the color and then doing a highlight with the lighter one. I mix it, I'll show you. And then this neon red, and I'll show you my palette. I did use white as well. These are all from Walmart, the paints, uh, 50 cents. And I use white to bring things uh, brighter. There's the palette there. Of course, this is from uh, the other day when I did the nails. So I'll be putting all the colors back in. But I started with, whoops, I started with this um, dark green there. I added a little white in there. I'm going to start with the darker green for the leaves. And then to do the highlight, I made a, you know, put a bunch more white in it and made it a lot lighter. And then there's that orange mixed with the pumpkin orange and the apricot. And then there's the lighter version of it so I can give a highlight. And there's that neon. And then I did make that a little lighter too. I actually used that color as the highlight, but then I used the side of just the color of the neon and added just a drop of the white to it so it was dark. And that's what I'll be doing. I'll be using Robin Moses's brush. It is called The Wand, and it's robinmosesnailart.com is how you order them. If you go to her YouTube channel, you'll find it linked right down below. They're $10 a piece or $18 for two. She has the liner and the striper. This is The Wand, and then they have the unicorn, and they're beautiful. They're red sable hair. I keep them dirty in between. She says that makes them last longer, and then I use 100% acetone to clean them. Gorgeous brushes. You definitely need to purchase them, and the uh, shipping is wonderful. And then I'll be using glitters. This is from Joanne Fabrics, or Micro Glitter. I'm using a white and a green to go through. And I got this idea from Robin Moses as well. To mix the glitters, I use a textile medium. Now, if you don't get to see my videos for the nail designs and you only watch the toes, I go over everything. Um, this textile medium is perfect for mixing glitters. It'll go on a milky uh, white, and then it'll dry, you know, just the glitter. And you see it through there. But it makes the glitters last longer on your palette. So it's easier, and when I used to do it, we used to use top coat or base coat, and then it would get clumpy and dry pretty quick, so you had to keep adding more glitter. This way, it'll last the whole time on the palette. And I got this from Michaels. It's an eight full ounce. It was $10, but I only paid a little over four because I had a 40% off. So it in the last a lifetime, you guys, it's huge. And then um, I'll be using some crystals. I got this crystal wheel from Hobby Lobby. I'll be using the light green and the orange right there. 
and I'll be putting them on with ASP glue. I always glue all my stones down and then still go over a top coat. The ASP I got from Sally's and just an orange wood stick. And then when I'm all done, I'll top everything off with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat I get either from Sally's, Walmart, or Amazon. I ordered this from Amazon. I get a great big bottle for the price of two bottles at Sally's. So it's well worth it. And this will fill the bottle at least like 12 times. And that's off of Amazon. All right, so I am going to get started and do the art on the big toes. And we're gonna, just going to be doing a little bit on the baby toes. Um, probably just some greenery. And um, like I said, I always do them a little bit different, but they always match. So I'm going to get some done and I will return. Okay, so so far I've got the two flowers on there and they are going to get a little bit darker. This one will get lighter, actually darker. Yeah, they'll both get darker. I'm going to add dark into them. So low lights into them. I'll show you how I'm doing this. I'm going to draw in. All right. And we're just going to go ahead and start right here. This is the color I made. This is a lighter color. It's going to get a little bit here. And I'm going to do this one over to this side. Actually, that one's done on that side, so we're going to do it over here. So this is just little tiny petals, kind of like the flowers I do um, in a lot of my videos. They're just kind of like fan flowers, just kind of doing it kind of like to a V. And make them pretty small. You don't want them really big. And it's going to be a five petal, just like that, just setting it down and making it look like a petal, like that. Then we're going to wipe this brush off, and we're going to go into that lighter orange right there, the lighter orange one. We're gonna go into that, and we're gonna do, um, these ones are gonna be a different one. These are gonna be six petals. So we're just gonna put it down and actually bring this one to a point like that. We want this to be a different type of flower, and you can overlap over your other flower. Don't worry about that, because it's like a jungle type, you know, it's a big, you know, just, I want all these flowers kind of just to come together, you know what I mean? Like you're going through a jungle of flowers. So and we need six petals to this one. So I'll come over here and put, oops, this thing's in my way. Put another one here. And we're bringing these to a point. They're almost like they look like my leaves when I do my leaves. And then we'll do another one right in here. And bring that to a point too, just like that. Actually, I'm going to make this one just a little bit wider. And then bring it out like that. It is to the side, so you won't even really notice it. It's just hard to get this one on, but I will fix it. And then I'm going to bring out the point like that. There we go. So we've got the two types of flowers on here now, and it's going to be adding greenery to it. So... I am going to get some of that done and I will return. I gotta let this dry up a little bit. Okay, I forgot to do the low light in these. So I did the low light in this one. We're gonna go ahead and do it in this one, which is just putting darker over the top of the lighter. So I'm gonna go right here into this dark part here and get a little bit on my brush and just lightly put a little bit into these uh, neon red flowers. They're called neon red, so it's almost like a pink. And just make sure that it makes it brighter. And then we're going to clean up the brush and go into the orange type flowers. We're going to go into the darker orange now. I'm going to dip into that. And all we're going to do, and you don't need a lot of paint on there, is just put a line through each one, just adding in so that it gives it that low light. Okay. And I'll do that on all the petals. And it was still a little bit wet, so just wait till it's dry all the way. That's okay, though. I got it in there. So just like that. Then you can see the flowers much better. You see that? They brighten up, and you can see them a lot better. All right, now we're going to let these dry and go on to the greenery. I will return. Okay, now I've got the greenery. And see how I just decided just to put some of the green leaves kind of going through the baby toes? I'm going to leave it like that. And I went with the darker green first. I did leave some open to show you how I'm doing this. So let's draw in. We're going to start with the big toe. We're just going to get this darker green right here, and then I've got the lighter green right there. So we're just going to get a little bit of paint on here, and I'm just going to start from the side, and you just want to pull these out and make some uh, branches as if it was like a tropical forest. Okay, and then I'm going to do it there, and you can overlap your flowers. Don't worry about that. I'm going to put some over here as well like that, and I'm gonna just go over this one just a little bit more, like that. And then for the baby toe, we're just gonna go in this little corner here and do 
just, you know, give it a quick pull like that because you want it to have that jungle feel like. All right. And then we're going to go down below here. And same thing, we're just going to pull some up like that, just three like that. That way it gives it that jungle feel even through the toes here. I'm just going to pull these just a little bit more so it looks more like jungle. See, isn't that pretty? I love it. Now we've got to put the low lights in our green. Now we're going to make the green a little lighter. So I'm going to do that and I will return. Okay, now you see how it made it pop. I'll draw in so you can see what I'm talking about. See how it makes it pops when you know when you do that, when you add that lighter on top. So I'll show you on the big toe here. I've already done it through all of them. And you just want that tiny little bit of green. And what I'm doing here is I've got it mixed right there. I'm just getting a little bit, and I'm not even going on the, the leaf itself. I kind of go to the side of it like that. You just want to go to the side, and you're just adding in a little bit of this lighter color. Let me get a little bit more because the paint was still a little bit wet. Whoops. So you're, that's all you're basically doing is going to the side of it so you can still see that dark green behind it. Isn't that cool looking? I love it. Okay, so now we're going to get the rhinestones on, and I do realize that this one's covered up, but I'm still going to put a little stone right there and a stone inside of that flower. So we're going to get one set done, and I might put some stones on the baby toes too. I'm not sure, uh, but I'll do it as I go along. Okay, I forgot that I had to do the glitter, so I got the glitter running through it right now, and it's got that milky color to it right now you can see but it is drying down so I'll show you how I'm doing that I've made it on the thing here there's the white and the green so we're going to set it down we're going to start with the white and just go through the flowers with it first and remember when it dries you will not see it. it'll just make the color sparkle and this is a white so it's just going to stay the color of the flowers here so just go through the flowers here like that and then we're going to go into the green and get the green paint and go through our leaves and just go right through it just like that, just real quick. And like I said, when it dries, you're gonna have that beautiful sparkle. And the green will just enhance the green on it like it did on the nails. Isn't that pretty? All right, now we're gonna do the rhinestones. So I'll get those done after this dries and I will return to show you that. Okay, now I've got the rhinestones in there. I'll draw in to show you. Just did a green and an orange. And so we're just going to do that. I'm not putting any in the baby toes this time. So we're just got a little bit of glue on a cap here. I'm just going to grab a little bit off and put a dot there so I can do a flower there. Hopefully I have enough glue here. It kind of ran. And do a dot there. Let me get a little bit more glue. Okay. So I'll do a dot here so we can do one of the flowers there and a dot for that flower. And I did um, the orange on the other one, so I'm going to do a green on this orange, this brighter uh, pink flower. We'll do a green one there, so it's opposite. And then an orange one on the orange one. I'll just stick it right there. That's totally fine, because that's where the flower is underneath. Just do it like that. Isn't that pretty, you guys? And I always do stones on the baby toes, so I'm going to leave them this time and just let them sparkle up with that greenery. So now all I gotta do is top coat everything with my Seshfeet Dry Fast Top Coat, and I'll return to show all of you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done, and didn't these turn out beautiful? Look at them, they are gorgeous. I love the pastel neons, love the flowers, love the tropical feel, matches those beautiful nails that I did on Monday. If you didn't get a chance to see that, definitely check them out. But I love the toes. I think they turned out so adorable. I always do the toes a little bit different, but always coincides. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Easter look. Hope all of you had a wonderful Easter, even though we're going through this pandemic. Hope everybody is doing well, happy, and healthy. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.